hey everyone i hope you all are doing great and having a wonderful day in this video we are going to see that how we can increase our reconnaissance technique to get more more assets hidden in an application so before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video in which i have shown you that how we can enumerate subdomains using permutation and combination then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen and also i have a small announcement to make that we are currently running the bug quiz event in which you'll get a chance to win a lot of things like you'll win two courses worth up to $100, you'll get a participation certificate and if you are in the top three, then you'll get a paid internship opportunity that can go up to 20000 a month depending on your skills. Then you can get try Hackme vouchers, then again you'll get two courses worth $100 in each and of course a certificate of participation. So yeah, if anyone is interested, then this link is given in the description. Just go and register to this particular event and after five or six registrations so we are increasing the price so definitely go ahead and register before it's too late and now with that being said let's get started so now we are going to see that how we can find hidden forms behind an application that could have some severe vulnerabilities right so let's get started the first thing is that i have set up a lab so let me just open it right over here so i type localhost let me just open it as you can see this is the lab that i have created in which our ultimate aim is to find that hidden asset or hidden form in this particular application right so very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to do with the content enumeration or directory enumeration right let's discover some contents so here we have this application and now let's try to do a basic simple content discovery using ff so we can type ff minus u the url is http localhost right and we can specify the word list and by the way i'm using the set list word list so you can just go and in, into your new tab and just install sudo apt install sec lists and this will install sec list in your machine right as you can see in my case sec list is already the newest version and if you want to install ff then no worries just go type sudo apt install ff and minus y this will again install ff in your machine and again as you can see right over here we have ff already installed the newest version right now once we have these tools installed what we want to do is we want to scan we want to get all the directories right so i'm just going to go with fuzz right here and i'm going to go with the secless directory and i'm going to go with the common word list which involves a lot of common strings in this particular file let's just hit enter let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see the scanning has been completed right over here and we've got one endpoint right over here employee right so one employee which is redirecting to 301 so let's see where it is redirecting us to so i'm just go and type employee something like this and as you can see we are getting redirected back to this application right so we are getting redirected to the parent directory right so now most of you people think that okay there's nothing interesting in this particular endpoint right because it is redirecting us back to the dashboard or back to the main page right but let me tell you guys that you are actually wrong this endpoint is actually hiding something right let's see what it is so i'm just going to go with this particular uh, inspect element and let's go to network and let's try to analyze this traffic by the way we can also use perp suit for it so let me just use employee and as you can see right over here this employee is getting redirected right so this is the request nothing in, the, in here nothing over here as well right so as you can see we're getting nothing in this inspect element as well right now let's try to see and analyze this request in perp suite so i'm just going to open perp suite now let's open it real quick Yeah, and now we're good to go. Let's test it out. Let's try Google over here. And as you can see, it's working. And now let's try to intercept this request. So let me just turn on my intercept from Burp Suit. And over here, let's open the browser. Let's hit the employee endpoint. Nothing is happening. Let me just open it in incognito tab. Employee. 
i think we should be getting this request no issues so let me just uh do a small thing over here is that let me access this particular application using my local ap address right over here and uh, let's open the browser directly from this verb suit or we can also go with directly uh right over here just paste it over here just go with employee hit enter and over here as you can see we successfully got the request intercepted in verb suit right let's just send this to repeater and again as you can see we are redirected right nothing interesting has happened now if i go to this repeater tab and if i click on send you'll see we have this beautiful html code right here right as you can see and if you see over here this is an form this is a form actually right which has two input field username and password right and if you see that it is actually quite interesting to see over here because it is a hidden form behind this application right so sometimes developer may do things like this in which they're just redirecting you to a new endpoint but they haven't get rid of the previous code as you can see we are seeing it right over here so how we can access this is quite simple let me just intercept it again let's go to employee and over here uh, let me just close this where's the burp suit and let's intercept the response and let me just get rid of this so that it don't send the request and over here we have this reconnaissance lab i need to hit the employee section sorry let's hit the employee endpoint let's open burp suit go to the employee let's intercept this request let's check out the response what the response is and as you can see now what we need to do is instead of this let's do 200 and instead of move permanently let's do okay now just forward this let's check out our browser again we are getting redirected right why we are getting redirected because we haven't get rid of that location header uh, let me explain it so let's intercept it again okay let's go to employee let's add employee right over here let's get rid of this intercept the response and now let's do 200 okay uh, let's get rid of this location header so this is what is redirecting this application to some else place right let's forward this now right and now let's hold it right over here why this is happening i'm again going to show you so there are two logic behind it so as you can see we we are getting the form right over here right but the thing is that once i'll just turn off the intercept we'll see that it again got us redirected to this home page right how we can fix that it's actually quite simple just again intercept this and then again let's hit the employee endpoint let's uh add employee endpoint over here let's intercept the response and let's get rid of this particular header over this and this particular tag this meta tag is what refreshing this particular page to redirect back to this parent directory right so if we can just get rid of this like this and if you can just replace the things like we did before we should be able to get this particular form without any further redirects let's forward this and now let's see and as you can see we successfully got this form over here right maybe this form will be vulnerable to some uh, vulnerabilities like no sql or sql injection or maybe we can just brute force the password right over here right so this was a similar scenario in one of the cyber security researcher in which he got sql injection i'll drop the link of that article also in the description so you can just go and check it out so yeah this is basically how you can find hidden assets or hidden endpoints or hidden forms in particular application right so make sure to analyze each request and each response in depth so that you will be able to understand what is lying beneath 
that particular 301 or 302 redirects i hope that you have understood it if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section and do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development so now with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching